Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Hey, happy Friday. Listen, y'all, I am so sorry that I am late. Y'all know I always start on time, but I was having some difficulties with my mic and it's just a whole lot going out. But we child, we're going to get right on into it. Normally, I speak to y'all one by one, but since I'm late and I don't like to be late, we're just going to get right into it. So, hey, everybody, and y'all let me know in the chat if you can hear me, because, baby, the way in which this was the ghetto. Oh, child, the ghetto. <laughs> baby, this was the damn ghetto. Now, I do not know, or as, the, or, or as my country cousin said, the ghetto. Baby, I don't know what the ghetto is. But that's what this was. What is wrong with y'all? Like, what the hell is wrong with y'all? And before we even get into it, I got a special something. A special something for Alonzo. Let's just get right into it. Everybody, let's just get right into it. Seven, eight. Boy, you got a lot so much. You must wake up and just make up stuff. Because I just do not understand why every time you talk you tell a quick lie you and your lies gotta go because i'm tired of talking to pit nokia yo then you had a nerd look folks in the eyes knowing that you telling them lies you be telling them lies i asked you about this do you lie about it yeah. i asked you about that do you lie about it yeah. get the lies together they all over the place i bet that jesus came back you a lot of his face yeah. P -O -E -O. i guess you want to see how far your nose can grow i said P -O -E -O. Yeah. I, I guess you want to see how far your dogs can grow. No, boo! Let's go! Stop telling all them lies, you know, but what? Let's go! Because I don't believe that you say at this point. Because all you do is lie, lie, lie. Lie, lie, lie. Lie, 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 lie. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Let's rewind it. One more time. One more Five, time. Get set. Five, six, seven, eight. Boy, you got to lie so much. You must wake up and just make up stuff. Because I just do not understand why every time you talk you tell a quick lie Come you in. and your lies gotta go because i'm tired of talking to pit nokia yo then you had a nerd look folks in the eyes knowing that you telling them lies you be telling them lies i asked you about this do you lie about it yeah. i asked you about that do you lie about it yeah. get the lies together they all over the place i bet that jesus came back you a lot of his face yeah. P -O -E -O. i guess you want to see how far your nose can grow i said P -O -E -O. Yeah. I, I guess you want to see how far your dogs can grow. No, boo! Let's go! Stop telling all them lies, you know, but what? Let's go! Because I don't believe that you say at this point. Because all you do is lie, lie, lie. Lie, lie, lie. Lie, 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 lie. And Alonzo, that is for you. Because, baby, the way in which we are about to get into this review. All right. If you are listening on the replay, you don't have to listen to the entire thing, honey, and go through all the, the stuff in the beginning. Go ahead and look down below and you will see chapters. And I'm about to start the review in five, four, three, two, one. Hey, girl. Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Misha. Thank you guys for joining me yet again for another live review. If you are new here, then welcome. I give lighthearted reviews with a little bit of laughter and a little bit of shade and a whole lot of detail. If you're back for a second or third time, then welcome back. Y'all, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Share with a friend. Hit that notification bell so that you will be updated each and every time I upload a video. Now, child, let's get into it if we gonna get into it. Baby! <laughs> oh, I'm so ashamed to be from the Lone Star State. Dallas, Fort Worth, Fort Worth, Dallas, up and down the street, honey, up and down 45, 59. Y'all have acted a good old fool for the past two seasons. I mean, Houston, we had Denise, and Denise made up a straight up lie and spoke on behalf of Joy, but we ain't never, <laughs> and I do mean never, had an Alonzo, a LaRon, or a Chaz. Child, so let's get right into it, honey. So the cast is all dressed up with no particular place to go, honey. This is couch A, child. Anywho, this is couch A and this is couch B. So, you know, they have people sitting in the uppers as well. And uh, what I want to know is, what well, first off, what I want to say is, Rashina, you looked really good, girl. You really did. I like that dress and that color on you. All the ladies looked really nice. They really did. Um, Dom, I have to say, baby, the way that you were wearing that suit. And Jonathan, you looked nice too. 
Look at that old freaky one over there at the end with his little ankles out. Hey, freaky one, what was his name? <laughs> Baby, this is a mess. So anywho, everybody is out on stage, right? Uh, On people, why do y'all have that big ass country boot sitting up as a backdrop? If y'all don't have a budget, then tell us that. Because I mean, it's giving your budget is low. I was like, what is that big ass country boot? Let me tell you something. We are more than cowboy boots and barbecue plates. I wish y'all would stop doing it. Every time you hear Texas, you feel like it's synonymous to boot scoop boogieing. We are citified as well, okay? We don't have our cattles on the freeway and we make sure to stop at the red light. Like, this just don't make no damn sense to me. When I seen them big boots, I said, this is the kind of decor you get for a season like this. Child, this is a whole fool. So anywho, we look back at how it all began, which was a fool in itself. So Tommy is asking about the two mixers. Dominique said, I didn't like the fact that y'all sent a woman home without my input. And I have to agree with him because I feel like all of them should be there before they actually eliminate the first person. Well, they got all that out the way. Now let's get to the good stuff. I said, baby, y'all ain't waste no time. So we see Alonzo and his look. Him and Patrice, you know, kissing on the bridge and whatnot. So it took me some time. I am so sorry. I was about to sing that theme song and I know that's not my job. Hold on, let me usher in the songstress of the family. So it took me some time to get to a place that you wanted me to be. Oh, now I'm ready, I'm ready to look who. Thank you so much. So now that we have ushered them in on the bridge and whatnot, Tommy asked them, so, uh, yeah. So, uh, but the way the body language was looking on that couch, I said, baby, that tells me that that whole thing ended right there at the bridge. So Alonzo got ready to get his throat chakras ready to tell a lie. Okay, here he go. Tommy asked Patrice where they are now. And so Patrice said, well, Alonzo wanted to really be all in. He said he wanted to be exclusive. And so he gave her a key to his place. Now, the last time we saw somebody down on bended knee giving a key, it was Clifton to Joy, but they ended up getting married. Alonzo is passing our keys and you get a key and you get a key and you get a key. So Tommy is looking like, oh, it's getting serious. Not a key. <laughs> she got a key. Yeah. Well, that's where the happiness ended. So she said, well, yeah, all that glitters is not gold because when I got that key, what I didn't know is that Alonzo was creep, 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 creeping with every damn body that he could find. So Tommy is like, what's going on? Explain this to me. Here go Alonzo, ready with the lies. Uh, what had happened was, okay, so she came to my house like at 10 o'clock at night in a car that she does not drive. I was with my homegirl who I've never done anything with, okay, never, okay, and, and I she took me to the grocery store. My Jeep was messing up. Like, boy, anyway, I don't want to hear nothing you have to say, okay? It's, it's giving a lot. You've never done anything with her and she's just a friend, right? Okay, so Alonzo said it was his homegirl. They've been knowing each other for a long time. And Patrice pulled up in an unmarked car. Drive past your house every night, honey. <laughs> Baby, Patrice said, I am Monica, honey. Kick down your doors and smack your chick. While Alonzo in there loving the edits and loving how she give it up. You loving how she giving it up, all right, because you happen to sleep with her. So while Alonzo was doing all this lying, Patrice said, hold up, I'm going to let you finish. Just like Kanye did when he jumped on that stage at the VMAs. He said, listen, she said, listen I'm going to let you finish. But her, um, what you don't know is that I met with the girl. And the girl said that y'all had sex. She told me everything. Well, baby, what she say that for? Here go Alonzo. No, 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 because, because what happened? No, it's not no damn because what happened. And Tommy is like, well, you just said two seconds ago that you didn't sleep with the girl. So who is this woman? Well, no, I'm saying like we never did anything. It was one time like we never did anything. OK. Now, if one and one is two and two and two is four. Alonzo, your story is giving eight and 16 is making seventy five thousand. What are you even damn talking about? 
talking about this is somebody I've never had anything with. You literally just said this two seconds ago. She a friend girl. I don't do nothing with her. Like, why would I give a key? I'm not about to be playing with nobody's heart and their feeling. I'm not about to do that in this situation. I'm not about to do that. You are about to do that because that's what you did. Talking about if he had something to hide, he wouldn't have given her a key. Sir, people do stuff like that every day, B. They will give you a key. They will change their phone number. They will pretend like they ain't got baby. They will have fences and everything else. That means absolutely nothing to me at all. You lied. You slept with the girl knowing dang on well that you and her had something in the past. And why is she taking you to the damn grocery store in the middle of the damn night? Like, it just ain't making no sense to me. But what really got me with these facial expressions. <laughs> Baby, this man said, yeah, I had sex with her in May. Tommy said, but you said, I, I can tell you lying because when you're replying, stutter, stutter. Baby, he couldn't even get it out. I, I take, I own, yeah, I take, I own it. Everybody, look, look, look how Justin leaning in to see the lies. He trying to hit the lies good, so he leaning in. Look at him leaning in. <laughs> baby, the way Justin leaning in for the lies. I said, baby, this is crazy. So Tommy had, Tommy was like, listen, you don't get nobody no damn key if you know you don't want to be with him like that. You don't do that. I know that's right, Tommy. Even Tommy was confused. Look at how Maya was looking. Boy, bye. By Felicia, everything you're saying is a lie. Anything that comes out of your mouth at this point, you and your little bow tie is a lie. And we should have known he was unserious. Look what he got on, John. A fool. Moving forward. So Tommy is sitting there like, what? So then Patrice drops another bomb. She said, oh, no, it was more than her. It was three girls that came out of Pandora's box. He's been getting STD tested and he has been having sex with them even while we've been in a relationship and even before when they were in the middle of the process. Here he go. I'm not a gossiper. She said, yeah, you nothing but a liar, a cheever, a deceiver, a heartbreaker. <laughs> So what is really going on? So you know Tommy has to do what Tommy does. Is there any chance for a reconciliation? No, the hell there is not. She was like, uh, hell no. Okay? Absolutely hell no. So then he gets his clown self in the confessional with his clown suit on, talking about some, I don't understand why I can't be friends with somebody else I had sex with. I don't understand it. Why everybody mad? Can somebody fill me in? I was getting STD tests and I was having sex with them, but uh, they my friends say what what are you talking about i don't understand why i can't be friends with them i love their edits i love how they give it up i know you love their edits and i know how you damn love it how they give it up and you didn't expect for her to come to your house at the time that she did i don't give a damn if she came in a car that was unmarked or not why are you in there with a lady that you've had sex with and you getting std child oh uh -uh, honey Mm -mm -mm. Alonzo, you need to grow up. And that is why Koshia cut him off at the knees. But it doesn't even matter what transpired during the season. The whole point is that you are a liar. Okay? You are a liar. And just an FYI, a woman that you've had sex with should not be running you to the grocery store in the middle of the damn night. Okay? Y'all shouldn't be making any runs. If your car was messed up, you should have called your woman, the one with the key. That's what you should have done. Talking about why I can't be friends with her. Anyway. So after we get through with that, now on stage is Will, Alexis, Koshia, Patrice, and Mika. Baby. Moving forward. So we have Will versus Mika. So Will is up there and they trying to figure out if he sleep on the floor. So Tommy is asking all the burning questions and he going to say, well, anybody with their right mind, anybody that, you know, got the sense God gave a goose will know I got money. Mika said, how are we supposed to know that? Boy, we don't know you. <laughs> <laughs> well, baby, what she say that for? She was like, listen, we do not know you. What are you talking about? You could potentially be sleeping on the damn flow. He said, well, I'm not sleeping on the flow. You can Google me. You can look me up. I got the assets. Well, again, you know, they don't know you, okay? And really and truly, I feel like this whole thing is Patrice's fault. Granted, Will had his way, but Patrice, this was all your fault. Just like Tommy said, he said, well, I feel like this kind of tainted the way that people looked 
at will. Now, I don't feel like that's the reason why people, you know, I mean, yeah, it has something to do with it, but Will and the way that he is and the way that he responded when he found out the information, that gave Petty and Caddy and a little bit sassy, okay? Now, he did have the right to defend himself because Mika was going in. Now, do you hear me? So he was about to mention her children because she made a comment to him and he said, why would I want somebody... And he was about to say with two kids and two baby daddies or something like that. I know he was about to say that, but he caught himself. And so then she was like, you bad built, you busted and disgusted, you broke. He said, you got a BBL. She said, okay, you're broke. He said, why would I want you? You a baby mama with your tubes tied. She's a baby mama with her tubes tied. That's what you thought made sense. <laughs> you got a bbl your body ain't real she said your chain ain't real now speaking of chains i was definitely going to mention that big ass medallion i said sir what is this big piece and chain we got on baby he want to prove that he got a little coin okay now y'all know what i'm gonna say that's that middle of the mall kiosk jewelry i don't know now where you get that from it's just large and in charge baby when him and mika got through going back and forth i was like okay here go tommy <laughs> Oh my gosh, Tommy was gonna get him. So Mika was going in on him, right? And she, they were going back and forth and forth and back. Poor little Willie, he couldn't keep up. But Tommy said, hey, 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 that's enough now when she had got him. And I just, child, I just died laughing. So Tommy brings up that he feels like Patrice is the reason why the women didn't like him. And cause she has said, no, that's not the reason for me. The reason for me is that I felt like I didn't get a chance to speak to Will and tell him exactly what it is that made me uncomfortable because Alexis had already ran it back. Well, now we have Mika Koshia versus Alexis. Alexis, baby, you were geeked up. Do you hear me? I don't know if you were gone off that liquor. I don't know what you had going on. But you were definitely losing your damn mind this reunion. So she going in on Koshia and Mika saying that the two of them together share one brain. And here go Koshia speaking strong and loud. Well, when I say that I don't have, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I don't feel like it. Koshia, I don't feel like it. But y'all know what I thought about. Y'all know what I thought about it as I was watching. Cause she are gonna wear that swoop and that ponytail that she do at the house if she don't do nothing else. Baby, she made it a little classy and tried to lay it down a little bit and bring that swoop a little bit away from the face. I said, baby, cause she know she gonna wear that swoop, ain't she? So now these three are going at it back and forth and forth and back. Cause she or her swoop and Mika and her blonde tresses and uh, child, it's giving eighth grade prom down here with Alexis and baby she got her ponytail I with my hair back and forth child she losing her damn mind so all three of them are going at it and I was just thinking Alexis now please please don't do it okay don't do it so she pipes up and starts saying her two cents because she has said it was the ladies lounge and all of that you can hear the people in the back kind of giving commentary as everything is going down and I'm just thinking everybody shut the hell up OK, let's just really get down to what it really is. And um, Alexis out loud talking about what did I tell him? What did I tell him? She calling both of them goofy. They going off on her. She said they got, you know, one brain shared between the two of them. Now, the people on the street are saying that Mika run the girls. Now, I don't know how true it is, but they are saying that Mika run the girls, honey. So I don't know. So then Tommy brings it back and he said, Will, is there anything that you want to say? He said, I want to be the bigger person and maybe I should not have let what Mika said about me get me that way. But I feel like I was being disrespected as well. Now, me personally, I feel like Patrice needed to apologize for saying that he sleeps on the floor because Patrice ended up saying, well, he told me he put all his things in storage and that he the house was staged and he's going to go to sleep under his covers. He didn't say he was in no bed, ma'am. If I tell you I'm about to go get under my damn covers, the bed is implied. First of all, you didn't even know what staged meant. So that's one. Number two, you went and ran it back and you did not even make sure that what he said was accurate. And then she said, I don't feel like I owe him an apology because he could have been clearer. No, you do owe him an apology because you claimed that he was sleeping on the damn floor. Now, I know people have their feelings about the men, but that's not right. If you say to me, I'm about to go get up under my covers 
And I know that you do real estate and you're saying that a home is staged. Hell, my eight year old knows that a staged home means that there is furniture in place to let you know how the place would look if your furniture was in the place. So you thought staged meant that he was sleeping on the floor? Child ain't got time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. And then he go tell me, talking about, listen, y'all doing all that argue. If y'all don't connect, then y'all need to move on and show some respect. We do not have time for the Dr. Seussical, the musical rhymes right now. Tommy, please save it. He's talking about our people love to tear each other down. Uh, Tommy, I hear you. Okay. But let's save the speeches for these disrespectful men each season. I hope you have a speech for Laron's reckless mouth. I hope you have a speech for the right Chaz brought that petrified damn flower that he had to plan out to die. Do you know how diabolical you have to be to have a damn dead flower? You have to make sure that flower dies or you have to buy a dead. Either way, it's giving eh, eh, eh. It's giving cuckoo kachoo. And I also hope you have a speech for Jonathan being frisky the way that he was. Always correcting the women and letting these men do what they want to do. Baby, no, absolutely not. Moving forward. Child, just as crazy as a bestie bug, as my grandmother would say. <laughs> Child, this is crazy. This is crazy. So then we move on to Glenn. Um, Glenn is making his appearance finally. Laurent talking about, I didn't think he was real. Laurent, pipe down. Uh, Glenn, why are you here? Because you have nothing to add. Now, I know everybody was going up on a Tuesday because Glenn was in the building. I, I don't give a damn. Tommy talking about, okay, now you here, right? You're going to stay with me, right? What is your obsession with Glenn? What? So then he says, let's take a look at your journey. What journey? From his house to the driveway? Tommy, be so serious right now, baby. Please be so serious. This man didn't offer nothing. He didn't want to be bothered with y'all. And that's just the bottom line. So Tommy asked what was in his head that day. He said that he got in a wreck after taking his son to school and he had anxiety. I can totally understand having social anxiety and you don't want to really be in the mix. But why did you sign up for the show? They didn't tell you what was going to go on. And y'all got to stop getting on these shows and saying that y'all have never watched them before. Watch the show. I could be taking you anywhere, doing anything to you. And you just signing up because you heard TV. Watch the show. So he's asking Glenn if he wished he was a part of the process. That man said, uh, no. <laughs> baby, that man said, no. I know that's right, baby. You made the absolute right choice. So Tommy tells him because he didn't get a chance to do the mixer, then he's going to get a chance to mix and mingle with the ladies backstage and see who he likes. That's not how this works. Now, I know everybody else might have thought that was good, but that's not how this works. And the first person he went back there and talked to was this one here. And she was talking like she liked to do. Child, that man got right up and walked away. <laughs> I said, baby, not you walking away. He walked away from her so good, child. I said, baby, he do not want to be bothered with no damn Alexis. I said, mm -mm -mm, honey, even the one who didn't come walked away from Alexis. Now, y'all know what I noticed? Patricia was on that stage. Now she was actually a part of the show. She showed up and got eliminated episode one and they did not even acknowledge her. I don't like that. Okay. I don't like that. Glenn had his chance and he chose otherwise. So why? And this is what makes me mad because it is so male centered. Y'all did not even acknowledge Patricia. She was on this season and she actually showed up and y'all didn't say nothing to her. After they got a, after they got a, uh, you know, Glenn gave him a chance to go ahead and mix and mingle and be the bachelor that he is. They leave stage. I said, uh, uh, run it back. I need to know how Patricia was feeling because after that very first episode and she got eliminated, she was tweeting up a storm and I wanted to know how she felt about that. But of course we only need to focus on Glenn. Anyway. So now we're on to Laylin and her time on the show. Smart woman, baby. She decided to go on by her business. Laylin knew when to dip. And that's exactly what she did. She was like, I just feel like I left too soon. I kind of feel bad. Girl, you don't feel bad. You don't give a damn. <laughs> baby, you don't give a damn. Here go, Chaz. I mean, I was just, I just felt like, you know, I was just distraught when she left. I was devastated because she's rare. Chaz, shut up. You think everybody rare, including that petrified rose that you were carrying around. Everything is rare. Talking about she rare. Anyway, I made sure to put you up here and put, I like you. 
I like you and I like you too. You like anybody that breathes in your general direction. So Tommy asked Laylene if she wanted to try with anyone there. She said, no. Here go Patrice. Uh, Alonzo, you want to shoot your shot? Go ahead, Alonzo. I mean, she was one of your top girls. Shoot your shot. Patrice, why are you doing that? Okay, you give a little weirdo at times. Okay, and definitely a little bit later on in this reunion. Why are you doing that? Don't try to get Leyland to inherit your problems. She don't want the edits and she don't love how you give it up. So please leave Leyland the hell alone. So baby, now we're about to talk about the choked or spanked fiasco. Child, this is a fool. So now we're back here with Koshia and Alonzo. We see a never before seen piece of footage and here comes Patrice with her cape talking about, I mean, I feel like he ain't mean and inappropriate. I don't even know what they talking about. We grown. Well, we see how caping for him turned out. Is that cape retired? <laughs> he made a fool out of you. He continued to play in your face. So have you put up that cape or not? Child, anyway. So Tommy said, you know, I've never heard anyone say that and it wasn't about sex. Here go Alonzo trying to explain it again, talking about, well, when you get kissed, you, you get choked. He said, I ain't never been choked when I was kissed. Now, either way you slice it, Alonzo, that also has a sexual undertone to it. Are you new? Like, are you new here on earth? I'm just trying to figure it out because the way that you be trying to explain things and sounding foolish is beyond me, baby. It still has something to do with sex. Like if you putting your child, son, I really don't. Cause she has said, well, I just was not ready to discuss that with him because I was not on that level with him. I mean, LaRon knew, Chaz knew. I said, Chaz. Baby, not Chaz knowing, and he was out there coaching LaRon on how to get Koshia back when she was crying at that table. Mm, mm, mm. Baby, Chaz had his hands in all of the cookie jars. Do you hear me? Chaz cannot be trusted. Moving forward. So, in essence, Alonzo was just sitting up that line again, and we already heard his theme song, honey. We'll probably play it again at the end of the, um, the review because we already know that Alonzo likes to lie. So, not all the cast is on stage. Except Glenn. Child, I'm surprised. We see these little games that they played during the season, both literally and figuratively. And I was watching this and I was just thinking, I hope they address Jonathan and his inappropriate lap dance that he tried to get from Alexis by pinning her down on his lap. And they conveniently left it out. Okay. This show is a joke because the fact that you left out, y'all didn't even show that. The fact that you left that entire segment out. When you were showing those games, shows me. But you did show Maya shaking that thing. You didn't mind showing her twerking, but you didn't want to put Jonathan in a bad light. Baby, y'all not going to play in my face because I pick up on everything. The fact that y'all did not talk to Patricia. The fact that Jonathan got a favorable edit. The fact that y'all showed Maya shaking her rump, but you didn't show him being inappropriate. Anyway. So now they're playing a game called Who Said This? Or in the words of Portia, Who Said That? So now they're about to play this game. So Tommy reads the first question, and it was about Rashina and wanting to see the hotter side of her. Child, it was Chaz's old grimy, slimy self. I like you. I like you too. I like you. Child, he had an imaginary woman in the mix, 11 women, and it was only 10. So the next one is, choked or spanked so the person said don't choke me but you can spank me all day they were like it's patrice oh no that sounds like this person that sounds like this person turns out it was rashina rashina was like listen <laughs> if you're gonna do anything spank me but don't put your damn hands around my neck because that would be yeah that might end in fatality the third one was about will the person said that william was tall silly immature and he gave Jeffrey the giraffe mixed with Forrest Gump. I said, damn, that's mean. Turns out it was April. I said, now, I could tell that William's feelings were hurt because Tommy asked how he felt about it. And he was just like, no, it's cool. It's cool. I'm good. I'm good. I'm cool. It's cool. And I was just like, man, that's not cool. That was really rough. And I felt like William didn't deserve that. Because April, you had a fit when old boy, what's his name, Lamar? I forgot that man's name, the freaky dicky one. You had a fit when he disrespected you. So I thought that that was really low. He took it well, though. So then 
he reads the next question. So he reading the question and it has something to do with the person saying that Laron was a snake and how it was ironic or they're a snake. And Alexis said, well, Laron is the biggest snake on the cast. Alexis, first of all, let's get that lash together. That's number one. And why are you piping up? This has nothing to do with you. So then he going back and forth and forth and back with her. So now it's Laron versus Alexis. Alexis, what the hell is wrong with you? I really want to know what is wrong with you. So she calls him a dork. Everybody's jumping up, trying to calm the two of them down. Laron said, well, you were just throwing my dress on, throwing your dress on me, whispering in your ear, whispering in my ear. I wasn't whispering in your ear. I threw my dress on you. Yes, ma'am, you did. Okay. Yes, ma'am, you did. So everybody's trying to calm them down. Security is telling Laron, please be quiet. And she's like, why are you guys acting like I'm the problem? So Alonzo is trying to get her to go off the stage. Alonzo, sit down. Oh my gosh. He's trying to pull her off the stage. It's giving high school. They both kept talking. Tommy is trying to get them to be quiet so they can finish the game. I mean, people are yelling, shut up. Everybody just be quiet. Everybody stop. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. It reminds me of when my students wanted a treat. And I would say, okay, the class has to get quiet. And it's always that one student who wanted to push the envelope. And then the rest of the students would yell, y'all, please. She's not going to give us our thing. Please, y'all be quiet. That's what this was giving me. So then Justin pipes up and I was not expecting that. Justin tells her, girl, nobody said you were the problem, but you keep running your mouth. Well, baby, what he say that for? Now, I think he was aggravated because she probably was yelling in his damn ear. She gets even more mad. She starts clapping, yelling. Are you serious? So they're trying to get her once again to calm down. He's like, girl, look at this. Watch me be quiet. Watch. So he turns and he's quiet. So then Mika walks up and she's like, well, she's not going to calm down. She's not. Now, Mika barely said two words. Alexis jumps up and she's like, yeah, B, and I beat you to F up. I beat you to F up. Alexis, you are giving Jocelyn Hernandez when she fought everybody at the Love and Hip Hop reunion. Huh, and Stevie J? Now, I don't know if y'all used to watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta back then, but this is giving very reminiscent to when Jocelyn was fighting everybody on the stage. Go on the Googler and see why she was fighting everybody on the stage. Because that is very much what this was giving. You are giving... I don't want to go back to the strip club, Stevie. I don't want to go back to the strip club. You cannot take me back to the strip club, Stevie. It's giving unhinged. Hey, maid, I see you and your maid. I feel like it's giving. <laughs> Girl, it's giving nuts. It really is. So, baby, everybody is really trying to get a hold of her because she's saying she want to fight Mika. So Will is like pulling her off stage. He's pulling her away. She's screaming, talking about, I spent like a thousand dollars. I spent a wreck to be here. Baby, I hope you ain't spent no thousand dollars on that little prom dress that you get down from the flea market and that home ponytail that you did with that spritz in that jail. I hope you talking about something else, honey. I really hope you are. So now she in the back hollering, talking about, I'm leaving and I'm not coming back. Well, baby, don't threaten us with a good time. Okay. Don't let the doorknob hit you with a good Lord split you. So she's talking about F them, F them and F this show. I'm like, oh my goodness, child. She all in the camera, head all, oh, child. It was just a mess. It was a fool. So he's chasing behind her, telling her she can't leave. Yes, she can. She can go. And if you want to, you can go along with her. Like what? She telling him, get the F away from me, Will. Get the F away from me. He was like, don't let them get the best of you. She started screaming, they're getting the worst of me. They are getting the worst of me. Please leave the wild alone, honey. Leave that woman where she is. If she don't want to be bothered, I don't feel like hearing all that. I don't even know what happened. You just turned around, got hype with Laron, and y'all were playing a game, honey. It's not that serious. If Will, I'm sorry, if Will Yum could be called a Forrest Gump, Jeffrey the Giraffe, no talent having comedian, then you could be accidentally accused of calling Laron a snake. What is wrong with you, Jocelyn? What is wrong with you? Huh? Baby, she got so up in that camera person's face. 
I was like, oh my gosh, she's screaming, losing it. And the screen faded to black, y'all. Now, if you are watching this back on the replay, no, this is not a drill. This is not accidental. And this is not my screen messing up. The actual screen on the show faded to black. And that was the end of the episode. Oh my gosh. This was crazy. I was not expecting this. A lot of unnecessary stuff was talked about and we really didn't need Glenn. I guess they were just filling up space. It was just giving crazy. And certain things that they should have talked about, they did not, i.e. Jonathan. They should have talked to Patrice. There, I mean, Patricia, there are a lot of things that I wish would have happened. And Tommy, a word to you. Since you say we like to tear each other down, but I really just be kicking in with you, Tommy, okay? Okay? I want to say this to you. If you should continue as host, you really need to learn how to ask follow-up questions. Just sitting back and yelling, hey, 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 everybody calm down. Hey, y'all stop now. Y'all don't do that. I understand that these are grown people, but you don't have control of the set. This is every season somebody is getting up acting like this. They don't respect you. And that's because you don't ask the follow-up questions. And you don't control the stage. Like, I, I know you want to be their uncle or whatever you want to be, child, but this just don't make no damn sense. That is crazy. Now, let me see what y'all got to say, honey. Mm -mm -mm. This is crazy, child. Hold on. Let me see what y'all saying, honey. Let me see what y'all saying. Let me go back. Alexis, you should be damn ashamed of yourself, honey. You really should. Now, I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if you were drunk allegedly child let me put my banner up child in case some foolishness ensues welcome to the opinionated channel all views expressed are opinions and alleged if you would like to support my channel please cash app dollar sign misha imo please do not forget if you are watching this live to like comment and subscribe child now back to the foolishness let me see what y'all saying honey drunk mm-hmm that was so mean marcella you talking about the fact that um that April said that he looked like a giraffe and Forrest Gump mix. That was crazy. I said, girl, anyway, ain't nobody talking about how you had that hair swooped over to the side and them edges wasn't edging. Wasn't nobody talking about that. And if he was talking about that, we would have went up on a Tuesday. All for you, April. Like, we can't just be mean to them because they mean, honey, if they ain't did nothing. Because William ain't did nothing to hurt nobody. William don't want no smoke. That's crazy. Step Bayless said two unhinged individuals talking about Will and um, who are the two unhinged individuals? Will and Alexis. DL said Alonzo was doing too much. The elders in the room just had their legs crossed and looked. He always doing too much trying to get her up to my come on. Come on. Let's go to the back. Sir, please sit down. I know you're trying to defuse the situation, but if the host just sitting there looking, then you just sit there and look because if she would have hauled off and hit you. That would have been a totally different situation. And now we got to call the paramedics. It's too much going on. Omar says, so was that the end of the reunion? No preview for next week? No, they said it was going to be a part two. But I didn't see a preview. Hmm, that's a good point. Star C97. Hey, girl. April had that lash hanging, but ain't nobody said nothing about that. Okay. Lash is hanging here, there, and everywhere. I said, everybody get themselves together. Jen said, Alexis, men don't like that drama. She was never close to re for ready to love. No, she wasn't. And I just was thinking, girl, are you not embarrassed when she is watching this tonight? I hope that she sits back and says, I hope I never act like that again. But you know what they do. They go on these Instagrams and they put the page on private or they sh they turn the comments off. Then they make a live and they say, oh, what y'all didn't see is this. And they didn't feed us. And we didn't sleep for 40 days and 40 nights. And my toe was too tight in my heel. And they got all kinds of excuses. No, ma'am, you acted a fool. Okay. And a fool was presented to us on tonight. Moving forward. Girl, goodbye and good night. Mr. Donnie said, Glenn and Patricia seemed to have a good conversation in the back. They did. Did you notice that? I said, oh, okay, but he kind of had a semi-decent conversation with April as well. But then she did spirit fingers or something, child. And he was like, spirit fingers, really? But yeah, it did seem like he and Patricia were having a great conversation. But, you know, we'll never hear about it because they just like to skip over things that are important. 
Hey, Sean, I don't think she will regret it. That's who she is. True. True, Sean. You're right. But see, she was trying to act a little more tame during the season. But some, it's something is not right. Now, from what I saw during the season, yes, she gave pick me just like Patrice. Because I don't care what nobody says. Yeah, Alonzo did her wrong and Alonzo is a clown. And we knew Alonzo was a clown when he said choked or spanked. But at the same damn time, Patrice does give pick me in certain situations. I.e. the one where she tried to diminish how Koshia felt and said, oh, well, I mean, I ain't, why are you taking it so serious? He didn't mean it. Girl, you that man did mean that. And then she tried to clean it up. Well, I mean, I didn't say he didn't mean it sexually. I'm just saying. Don't just say this is not your battle. Sit back. And what I saw of Alexis from what I saw on the season versus what I saw tonight, something was different. Now, I don't know what it was, child, but something. But no, Omar, we are not going to go with she was the young. No, no, sir. <laughs> Omar, we are not about to go with she was the youngest. She's still a damn adult. She need to get herself together. Now, you acting like that and losing it completely when nobody was even provoking you. It would be different if LaRon was like, yeah, I knew it was you. You a snake. You an idiot. You a dummy. She immediately started name calling. As much as LaRon does not do it for me, she immediately started calling him a dork, a dweeb, a weirdo, a catfish eating. She, she was calling him out because she didn't say the catfish. I tried to judge it. <laughs> She didn't call him a catfish eat food. That was me. Mm -mm -mm. But she still was saying stuff that didn't even make no sense. So you just turn around and start going off because they're playing a game. And then you got to go back and look at the, the actual episode again. Every time somebody said something, she was just losing it. Like, okay, the first segment when they started talking about Patrice and Alonzo. What? Girl, he had to. Girl, what? God. I'm like, what is going on? Now, at first, I tried to just ignore it. I was like, okay, she just, you know, she's just excited. Okay. But she continued to do that through every segment. Like, something ain't right. Well, I'm embarrassed for her. I mean, so I'm cool. Like, it, it's, you know what? The song is definitely something that needs to come out for this. Because I, I just do not understand how these people got up here. So I am going to bring Melody out, okay? I got to do it because the fact of the matter is, is that they were acting up. I think you're so uncool. I think you're acting a fool and all my friends be roasting you. Shout out to Melody. <laughs> Baby, I think you're so uncool. I think you are acting a damn fool. And everybody on this live is roasting you. It don't make no sense. Why are you acting this way? What is wrong with you? Look at Mel singing. Sing it, Mel. I think you're so uncool. I think you're acting a fool and all my friends be roasting you. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Because y'all know I don't mess with Love and Mary Trunksville no more at all. But I had to bring my girl Melody back one time for the one time so she could sing for Alexis. Sing it, Melody. Mm -mm -mm. This is a whole fool. Do y'all hear me? It just don't make no sense. Why are you acting like that? Crazy. Thank you, DL. Yeah, y'all hit the like button. Y'all know I'll be asking y'all for that. But y'all know what I noticed about y'all though? Not all of y'all, but some of y'all. Y'all be like, okay, we're going to hit the like button. Y'all get off this live. It's like a thousand people on here, 400 likes. Now, I don't want to be one of them channels that be begging for likes every two seconds because I really don't care like that. I care because of the algorithm, but I also know that you support me. So I just rely on you and give you the honor system. But some of y'all ain't being honorable, okay? Now, don't make me put the mail song on for some of y'all. Now, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Oh, my goodness. Y'all crazy. Amanda said, Melody's song is so fitting because that was a hot mess. Baby, it was a fool. Hot mess is not even good enough. That's an understatement. I did not. And you know what? I was not expecting them to jump right into it. You know, I thought they were going to give us some fluff. Baby, the first 15 minutes, Patrice and Alonzo. Not only was he messing with three women and during the time that they were filming, child, he out there getting STD tests, which means that he probably doing it raw. Disgusting. And y'all wonder why Koshia was mad because he said choked or spanked. Child, anyway. 
Disgusting. Just disgusting. Sean said, this is also one of the first times the cast saw the whole season before the reunion started. That's why some people were so amped. Oh, is it? See, I didn't know when they filmed this. I felt like it might have been afterwards, but I said, well, they've never really done that before. So mm, I cannot wait to hear what they say about this petrified flower that Chaz brought to that bridge. I cannot wait to hear it. I can't wait. Justin, I like your little braids. Your braids fire. <laughs> I like your little braids, Justin. As T said, did y'all think Chaz was on something? His eyes and skin looked glazed. Chaz always looked greasy. I, I, I don't think he was on nothing. He's just always looking greasy and smiling. He kind of got that little Stevie J smile to him. When he bucked them two front teeth out a little bit. It's giving rat think. But I don't think he was on anything. I think he was perfectly okay. This is why people can miss me with the nice guy stuff. They are creeps too, girl. Please say it again for the people in the back. But then they want to be like, well, no, he's nice. No, he not. <laughs> he presents well. But he's not nice. Like, get out of here. Didn't he? He looked really nice. LC Charm said Justin looked good. Didn't he? I said, baby, I like your little braids. Your braids fire, Justin. <laughs> I don't want no smoke, Mika. I do not want no smoke, honey. Because you'll jump in somewhere and get to going off in a minute, girl. Ain't nobody looking at Justin. Honey, I know what they make. I used to be an educator. I'm good. Thanks for coming. D Flo said, and did you see how they reacted? when Koshia walked off from Alonzo at the restaurant. So this must be the first time that they're seeing everything. Mm-hmm. I did see that. As well as the situation where they were talking about um, Will and the sleeping on the floor situation. Child. Everybody else was doing well. Playing the game as they should. Here come Alexis acting up. That's just crazy. Larissa said, I can't believe how Alonzo got on that stage and tried to feed us lies. That clown, he was really trying to clean it up and it was not making any sense and told a bold faced lie. And he was going to get away with it, too, if it wasn't for Patrice and her meddling ways. OK, it was given very much Scooby Doo and she caught the, um, the ghost at the end of it because he really was going to sit there and lie with a straight face until she said what he doesn't know. Is that I talked to the girl. And the girl said that, her, um, yeah, her and Alonzo had sex. Then all of a sudden, no, we had sex in May. But I mean, it's not really like that. It ain't like that. I don't even know why she's saying that we had sex in May. Sir, I don't give a damn if you had sex when Sheree was supposed to put out them damn some, them joggers. Joggers, September, summer, spring. Uh, I don't care when it was. You still did it. Talking about some, it was in May. Child, anyway, I don't think it's a BBL. Some women are just thick and homegrown, especially in the South. Baby, say it again for the people in the back. Because, baby, you see that at every grocery store. I can't go to the mailbox, okay? <laughs> baby, I can't even go to the mailbox. Let me tell you something. My mama and my entire family are built that way. So if somebody sees me, but I mean, people that know me from back, back, back in the day, they know that it's homegrown. But if you were to see me, you would definitely think that I went down to Dr. Miami. No, ma'am. In the South, baby, we eat that cornbread, that cabbage. We eat cornbread for every meal, honey, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Now, she didn't deny it, though. So, allegedly, it may be true. But you can not see that on every given corner. Okay? You really can. Cammy said, Alonzo should not be hanging out with someone who slept. Thank you. Cammy, people that have common sense. They know that that does not make sense. And then you hanging out with her at the, in the midnight hour and she took you to the grocery store. Yes, I said store and not store. She going to run you down to the H-E-B in the middle of the damn night. And then Patrice rolled up in a car that was very unsuspecting. It's giving an episode of Cheaters. And I could see the camera running behind Alonzo. <laughs> Can y'all imagine that camera running behind Alonzo? Oh, baby, the way I would holler. Mm, mm, mm. Child, this is crazy. Rose said, dang, I just got home. Wish I could have watched so I could participate in the chat. Sounds like it was a juicy part one. I'll catch the replay. Yeah, we started at 930. Oh, and also, I'm going to have to get off the live. Um, You know, you know, I usually stay on for like two hours and I be getting into it. But guess what, child? 
I'm going to tell y'all a little secret. I can't stay on too long because I have to get my beauty rest because I have a date tomorrow. Did y'all hear me, baby? I think I might be ready to love. I need to get my son to sing the theme song for me. <laughs> oh, child. Mm -mm -mm. Child, I don't know, honey. I don't know if you're going to make it to the bridge, okay? Because the way these people be fooling up in Houston, Texas, you never can be too shy, honey. He probably got five and six girls around the city. But if you want to take me out and twirl me around in this dress that I bought, and I've been working out all week, then you can twirl me around. It shall be okay. Okay. So I'm going on a date tomorrow, y'all. And let me tell y'all what I'm going to wear. Okay. So I have this beautiful black dress. It's very form fitting. It's giving spaghetti straps at the top, honey. Giving very sophisticated 41 year old grown woman body. Pop, 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 pop. Then I have these strappy heels. You know, just a simple one strap over the ankle, one strap over my feet. And they're black and they're stilettos. Because, baby, it's got to be six inches or higher for me. Then I have my accessories and everything. I'm going to pull my hair back in a bun so he can see my face. And then the makeup going to be popping, eyes popping, lips busting. Shout out to Nene Leaks. And, you know, the press on's pressing because, baby, I ain't going to sit. You will not get $175 out of me for these nails. It's just not going to happen, honey. And I don't even know what's going on with him. So if he make me mad, I'm going to pop them nails off like Gina did Will when they were sitting in the basement. Sitting in the basement. <laughs> Sitting in the basement, sitting on a tricycle, girl, getting on my nerves. Going out of my mind, I thought she was fine. Don't know if her body is hers. Yes, baby. I'm going to pop them press-ons right off in the mashed potatoes if something goes awry, okay? I'm going to leave my location with my mama. So if the fool get to the fooling, then, I mean, that's just what it's going to be. I'm going to pop them damn press-ons off. And I'm going to leave them press-ons right on that table. And that's just the end. That was the end of the day. <laughs> oh, child. And that was the end of the day. Oh, child. Mm -mm -mm. I wish I could go live at this date, child. Oh, child. Y'all know what I might do? I might just put a black screen, honey, put y'all down on the, on the table and go live, honey. I got to let y'all know if it's going left or if it's going right. Y'all can vote and tell me if he's ready to love. Child, this is a fool. But now he seemed all right, though, y'all. We don't know. Not the scary straight. <laughs> Omar, Omar, you have been on here for like two years now and I've been meaning to block you. What's wrong with scared and stressed? <laughs> you will not roast me. Oh, Omar, you will not roast me on my damn live. At least send a, send a cash app or a super chat if you're going to roast me by my scared and stressed. Oh, child. Omar crazy. Misha got a day. She tired of being go home, Misha. <laughs> Y'all shut up. I can't be screaming in this live. We have guests, okay? Y'all need to act like y'all got some sense. <laughs> Shorty doo-wop. Every time I see this name, I think about Martin. I hope your date don't wear that suit alone. <laughs> I've been in the live. I've been in the live. Y'all finna talk to y'all self. I've been in the live. Girl, if that man... That's why I'm driving my separate car and I'm, I'm going to make sure I ain't going to even valet because when I need my car, I need to escape. I need it right away. I'm going to have some slides, honey, in that purse because if I need to run to my car like Tina did when Ike was chasing her, when she was ready to get to that hotel to get finally get away from Ike, I will do that. If I step out or step in and see any remnant of any flowery pattern on his clothing, I will immediately do a review on that date. Okay, it's gonna be a fool. Like, absolutely not. He better not have that on, child. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, child. Dijon said, we need a live post date for a story time. Okay. Okay, We yeah, you know what? That sounds good. I don't mind that. Sean said, Alonzo in that tight suit, he looked like a goofy. Looked just as silly as he wanted to. d Flo said, Alonzo, that secret garden suit is dreadful. <laughs> And then he had the hat to match. I said, baby, what in the world? Shayla said, y'all stop jinxing the date. I know, it's going to go good, ain't it, Shayla? Tell him, sis. Oh, Mark, that's talking about not the skitty straight. <laughs> But listen, Omar, I ain't even mad at you because, you know, I reference everything to Real Housewives of Atlanta. And why when I picked out the dress, I said, baby, not the skitty straps. I hope you ain't got on no skitty straps. Mm -mm -mm. Tell us about the date. Okay, I'm going to tell y'all. Jennifer said, as nosy as I am, I kind of want to go live so I can investigate. I mean, check to see if he's ready to love. Okay, so listen, I already ran his name and everything through the system. And um, he came back clean. Now, I went to his, his social media things. I don't like the fact that he got Snapchat, but yeah, okay. 
But when I went to everything else, it seemed clean as a whistle. Don't tell me you done cleaned up that that Instagram because you knew I was going to go look because you ain't two steps ahead of me. I'm two steps ahead of you. And also on top of that, he was telling me how he really doesn't do social media. And to me, I feel like that was a red flag. Now, let me tell you why. Before y'all get up in arms. Sometimes they try to play this little game like, I don't even know how to work no social media. I don't even be on Instagram like that. I don't even have a Facebook. Whole time, they have a fenster. They have a fake Instagram where they go and they like all the pictures and they slide in the DMs and they do everything. Ask me how I know because that soon-to-be ex-husband was the same damn way. So when he said it, I was like, mm. But then I noticed that two days before he met me at the Whole Foods, okay, because that's where we met, okay? I was just minding my business trying to be healthy and whatnot and went to the Whole Foods and lo and behold, there he was. I was minding my business. I wasn't bothering nobody. And he came up to me. So uh, they be in the Whole Foods, y'all. Eating healthy and looking good, okay? So I just wanted to know how you going to say you don't do social media, but you posted two days before you cornered me in that Whole Foods, okay? I just want to know. It ain't adding up to me, but we shall see. Because y'all know I'm going to investigate. And I'm going to see what I was doing. I am going to ask the burning questions. Now, he was trying to inquire about my YouTube channel, but absolutely not. Okay, I don't need you up in my chat, honey. So I, I just was like, I mean, he said, what do you do on, on, do you vlog? No, this was so cute though, y'all. So he was asking about the YouTube and he goes, are you a beauty influencer? I said, baby, not a beauty influencer. No, but I am giving the zhuzh. <laughs> baby, he said, are you a beauty influencer? I said, boy, you got some game, okay? You know, I ain't been outside. You talking about, are you a beauty influencer? I said, no. I get on the internet and act a fool. That's what I do. And he started laughing because he thinks I'm very funny. And I like a man that thinks I'm very funny. Because, you know, men don't be wanting to laugh. Like, if you don't laugh, child. But I thought that was so cute. I said, no, I don't do beauty vlogging. Then he was like, what you do? You do family content? No, you're not going to search me high and low to find no damn family content. You're going to get my government name so that you cannot search my channel. Like, no. So then he was like, I want to subscribe. I want to be a member. I'm like, no. If I start liking you like that, then maybe I'll let you member and whatever. But right now, it's a no. Okay? You are not ready to love. Okay? You're not. Oh, hold on. I don't know why I skipped that question. Hold on. Let me go back. Ebony said, you mentioned you weren't going to date while married even during your divorce. Since you got a date as a divorce from that ex, almost done. Girl, more than almost done, baby. <laughs> We're just waiting to sign on the dotted line. We waiting for the judge to sign off. I've been going through this for years. He has held my life up since I have been 34 years old. I am 41. If I keep going at this rate, I will be 50 years old. And I mean, I feel like I deserve for somebody to think that I'm special and take me to eat. I ain't trying to kiss the man in his mouth. He ain't doing nothing with me. I ain't doing nothing with him. Okay. Nett says, send his information to Simone on Girl Is That Legal so she can run it for us. Oh, baby, I already had my attorney friend do it. Oh, love said he going to be on that date and say, moving forward. No, I'm going to be on the date and say, moving forward and blow his whole cover. Oh, he is. He know he in the chat. He better not be in the chat. Oh, girl, you got me sweating. He better not be in the chat. <laughs> oh, child. Thank you. Thank you, JR. Thank you, Sims. Thank you, sister girl. Yeah, child, I ain't going to be waiting around. Yes, I still stand by that. I don't think you should be dating when doing this and this and this. But at the same damn time. I don't keep y'all in the loop on my business about my divorce, but just know that if I say something, I stand behind it. But at the same damn time, you're not going to hold my life up forever because he done moved on, on. I'm talking about had a new kid on. So baby, you got a whole nother family. So what am I supposed to do? Wait until I'm 60 years old? Child, he playing a game. He giving very much Mark Daly over there with Kenya. Um, I had a man tell me he didn't have social media, so I did a little digging, and turns out he did and was also married. Mm-hmm. See, that's how they be. Felicia said, Misha, make sure that bun secure this time. Oh, nah, baby, this is a real hair bun. See, that, that one's... <laughs> Y'all yeah, crazy. Felicia, please. That was them buns from the 90s. You remember them buns that used to be braided, and you could buy them from the hair store and stick them on, they had a comb in them? It was that kind of bun. But this is gonna be a cute bun that's all me. So now nah, that's it's not gonna give it's not gonna fall off my hair and roll underneath the table. We're gonna be fine. Hey Virgilian, I'm happy your divorce is about to be final. Me too. And I am having a huge celebration. 
when I say catering and everything, I'm talking about, I'm going to, I'm just going to rejoice. My life has been a living hell. Y'all don't even understand. Y'all be getting on here skinning and grinning and laughing and whatnot. Check on the people that's always laughing. I'm just saying. It'd it be hard out here for a pimp. Um, DL said, we are speaking fun and romance if he's ready to love. And see, I don't even want that. I just want to go on the date. I just feel like I want someone to take me somewhere at night. I have been a mom since 32 and I have not, I don't go outside ever. Y'all think these reviews come like clockwork because I'm out dipping it and doing it? No. The reviews are coming like clockwork because I don't have a life. I just be in the house with my baby and that's cool with me. But I spoke to the people over on Patreon and I asked before I even decided to say yes, because I was just like, man, no, nah, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. You know, because I really don't want anyone around my child. Now, that's something that I'm sticking to. That's not going to change. And I just don't feel like getting wrapped up because like, leave me alone. Why you come get me? And I was fine. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you bothering me? One thing that I like is he understands like Justin over here on Ready to Love that I'm not always wanting to talk. I don't be wanting to be bothered half the time. Okay. Please don't call. Baby, I'll have my people call your people. And he understands that. So I like that. And I also just feel like I deserve to go outside. I do. And lately... My patrons can vouch for me. Lately, I have been, um, you know, I've been telling them about my day to day and how I'm, you know, doing this or I'm running this errand or I'm going here or I'm doing that. I really have been like keeping them up to date with everything that's been going on because I would literally be in the house all day long just creating content. Either I'm saying something on Patreon or I'm trying to figure out a new way to monetize another platform or I am trying to find another show that I can review. I have been so wrapped up in everything else besides me. And that's not cool. Sister girl on film said, period, give him a little shoulder and take it right back. Give him a little leg. and Girl, you know, exactly. nobody knows what I am saying when I say that. They're like, give him a little leg and take it right back. I'm like, you don't know? You've never heard that before? Oh, baby, you don't watch TV. Okay. Sunshine and Flower said, I'm glad you listened to us on Patreon. It's going to be great. Thank you. d -Flo said, me Shane outside, laying it low and spreading my baby at all. <laughs> at all. If y'all know, then you know that you're going to get these reviews exactly when I say they're going to come out. As soon as the show goes off. I don't give a damn if I have to stay up all night long. If it's three shows in one day, you're going to get three, three reviews before you wake up. Because I just don't. This is the thing about the Houston men. And y'all see it with the Texas ready to love. Okay. They will have women on every side of town. I'm not going into this thinking, oh, this is going to be your stepdaddy. No, I simply want to get pretty and go outside and have somebody think, damn, she outside with me and is, okay, <laughs> in public. But that's it. That's it. That's all. I just want to go outside and look pretty. And also, y'all, I want to go to that Escape and SWV concert featuring Maya and all of them. Cause they come into Houston in July, baby. Soon as I get off this live, I'm buying my tickets, baby. I can't wait to go. I said, Oh, I'm gonna be right in the front row, child. Jennifer said, I deserve, <laughs> baby. Shout out to Mama D, mm -mm -mm. baby. Ain't they fine? Listen, okay. So I had posted this thing over on Patreon because people be trying to slick judge you. That's why I don't like to share things, and I feel like I kind of got semi judged with that whole. Yeah, I thought you said you weren't going to date until you got... That was kind of like judging me a little bit. And I feel like that's why people don't like to share and be transparent because then people get to judging. So I was telling them over on Patreon that I was giving them the story times or whatever, but I, I started to feel like people were acting like everybody's perfect. We're not perfect. That's why I do reviews with a little bit of laughter and a little bit of shade. Because at the end of the damn day, honey, you're going to go your way and I'm going to go mine. But I was telling them how... These Houston men are so fine. So I was playing this game with them because some of the men in the video that I had posted had tried to talk to me before. And I was asking them to guess which one it was. And when I tell you that every last one of them was fine, they are out here and it's dangerous. That's why I keep my head on the swivel. And really and truly, I don't even be looking up. OK, I was minding my own business. I won't worry about nothing. This is how bad I got it, y'all. OK, so I get in the car. My own son had to tell me. 
mommy, I think he likes you. He thinks you're pretty. And I'm just thinking to myself, how you know? I mean, because I am very, very guarded. I feel like, mm, yeah, no. You know what I'm saying? So, Miss April said, Misha, my 38th birthday was on the first. Can I get a happy belated birthday shout out? Oh, it's my friend April's birthday. Okay, yeah, let's get into it, honey. Hold on, we got to have a dance break. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see. Let me see what I'm going to drop for April. Hold on. Is this the one? Hold on, hold on. Here we go. Okay, y'all. Everybody raise your glasses. Throw your glasses up for Miss April. It is her birthday. Go, shawty. It's your birthday. We going to party like it's your birthday. We going to sip a party like it's your birthday. And you know we don't give up because it's your birthday. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Happy 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 birthday, April. I hope you had the best birthday ever. Are you going to celebrate this weekend? What you going to do for your birthday, girl? 38. I wish I could turn back the hands of time, child, and go back to before I became 40. Don't get me wrong. I love 40. And, and In my 40s. I love 41. And I was telling them, you know, I feel like that grown woman fine is like a fine where you just realize it yourself. Like I was literally passing the, the mirror and I was just like, Wow, girl, you look good. Because see, the thing is, I don't have people constantly complimenting me because I never go outside. Now, before when I did, you know, they'd be like, oh, hey, what's up? You know, child, all at the gas station and everything. You know how they be doing, child. But I really just realized that this grown woman, 40-something sexy is a different type of sexy. And I love everything about it. So, baby, celebrate 38, honey, because 40 going to be too good, Okay. Starseed said, I went to Houston, almost lost my mind. Fine, Dallas ain't it. And listen, Starseed, don't go where the grown and sexy men go because they all standing up in there tall and fine. All of them are tall and fine. Like, it just don't make no damn sense. And I really have to, I'm just like, okay, I'm not going to go in that area. I'm not going to go over here. And see, I'm always with my son. So it's kind of crazy that he just was like, yeah, I see him and everything. How you doing, little boy? But uh, um, yeah. <laughs> but he came out to the car and carried my groceries to the car. And I was just like, I got it. You know, I'm good. I, mean, I don't need you seeing my license plate, child. I don't know you. But he was very nice. And he just simply asked me for my number. And I was like, Google Voice it is, honey. Because you will not get my real digits, honey. I don't know you like that. Okay. Miss Brown Sugar said, Misha, I'm so happy for you. Almost done with this nightmare from that ex and ready to have some fun and live it up a little. Go on, gal. Cha, I'm so excited. Mika said, just turned 40. It definitely hits different in a good way, don't it? And then you also, I think that in a few months when I turn 42 in September and y'all come celebrate with me because, you know, we always do a live. When I turn 42 in September, I just feel like I don't really care. Whatever it is that you have to say, I don't give, I don't give a damn. I just don't care no more. And that goes for family. That goes for the comments. That goes for anything. I just don't care. I simply want to be happy, retire by the time I'm 45, build my bank account up, buy me a plot of land and live in the country. Child, I don't want to be bothered. I don't want to live with no man. And honey, he ain't going to want to talk to me no way. Cause I'm going to tell him straight up. I don't want to live with the man and I do not want to be married again. And what else is going on? And we ain't having no babies and you ain't got no kids. So what's going on? So, you know, I just feel like at this point, I'm just feeling more confident. And one of my aunts, when I was younger, she had just turned 50. I was still in high school. And she said, baby, and she did not look 50 at all. One thing about my great grandmother, my grandmother, 
and my mom and her sisters, they have porcelain skin. Okay. Now, child, I had got a little adult acne here like a few years ago, but they, their skin is sickening. They don't do anything but wash their face. That's it. They have beautiful skin. And she turned 50 and I was just like, you don't look 50. And she was like, even if I did look 50, that's okay. That's not a compliment to me when people say I don't look 50 because I love the age that I am. I have the freedom to speak however it is that I want to speak. I do not hold any punches and I'm confident. And she told me back then, she said, when you get my age, the older that you get, the more confident that you'll be. She said, the wiser that you're going to be. And you just really ain't going to care about what people have to say. And I just, at the time, was like, girl, leave me alone. Because I was trying to call this little boy on the phone. <laughs> I was calling this little boy on the phone. And I'm just like, ma'am, I'm just trying to compliment you, child. I ain't asked for no lecture. But it's true. And now that I'm about to be 42, I really feel that way. If you don't like it, you don't damn like it. And what else is going on? I just don't care. <laughs> I really do not care. I don't care. And another thing is, I have... I'm now trying to make sure I also fit in time for me. Although I do want to make sure that, you know, everybody is happy. I want to make sure my members are happy. My subscribers are happy. My patrons are happy. But I was just getting burnt out a little bit. And I was kind of getting a little bit overwhelmed. And things were starting to get to me. And then I was trying to try to take mental breaks. And it was becoming too much. So I gave myself permission to actually enjoy myself. And I'm happy about that. Okay. Omar said, all right, Robin Dixon, you just don't care. <laughs> Boy, don't be calling me no Rob. Oh, child. Mm -mm -mm. Felicia said, just turned 42 and it for sure hits a new level of confidence. Okay, Andrew. Miss April said, I sometimes get anxiety about not having kids or being married yet. But baby, I realize that everything happens when it's supposed to. Yeah. And look, don't let them people be speaking over you. Oh, you have a maternal you know, you're a geriatric pregnancy if you get pregnant past 35. I don't know. I think I told y'all this before. There's a lady on TikTok and she is a black OBGYN. And she said that the studies that they do for those things are like, you know, years old and they're dated. Basically, she was just trying to speak positivity and in life into women because you can have babies older. Now, granted, there are things that complicate that because hell, it was complicated for me at 31. Child, I thought I wasn't going to be here. But at the same time, don't let that get you down because you can still very much achieve everything else you want to achieve and still have your family, your husband, and your babies. I was on this page on Instagram. I cannot remember the name of it, y'all, but they were talking about this lady that just is having her first baby at 50. When I tell y'all my mouth was wide open, I said she got the strength of anybody else that I've ever seen. Because, baby, I'm tired. And he's getting older, but I'm tired. Child, 50. And she is having her first baby. I saw that study, too. Also, they did those studies on white women. Thank you. Okay, so you know exactly what I'm talking about. Because I just was like, why does everyone... Speak so much negativity over people's fertility. And I don't like no, baby, don't even speak no cold over me. If I sneeze, just say, God bless you and God about your business. My mama is bad with that. You look like you come. I'm not coming down with nothing. I'm fine. Like I, I promise y'all, life and death is really in the power of the tongue. That is nothing to play with. I don't speak no cold. I don't speak no allergy. I don't speak no sneeze. Now I do have to go to the doctor, you know, when things don't act like they should act. But I don't speak that over myself. I'm like, I'm perfectly fine. I'll be okay. Oh, love said, child, the older I get, the more I'm not even sure about children. Can't even find someone I want to procreate with. And on top of that, look at this world. I think all the time about how sometimes I think, man, I should have had my baby earlier because then he would be an adult and be able to navigate things because it's just scary right now. And I don't feel like he's getting the childhood that he should have because of how things are. So, but I mean, you just got to reprogram your thinking. And if you do find someone that you think is worthy, then do it. And if you don't, and you don't want to, that's cool too. Okay. Christine said pregnancy at 31 kid girl. Oh Lord. I ain't never been, I ain't never been through nothing like that. Do you hear me? And home life was terrible. I had a terrible pregnancy. I had romanticized 
pregnancy and I was like, I'm going to be pretty and I'm going to have a big old stomach and I'm aesthetically, I looked great. You couldn't even tell I was pregnant until I turned around. I didn't get nothing, nothing went on with my face. I didn't get stretch marks. I pushed my baby out in four pushes. My home life was hell. Then my fibroid exploded. Then I was bedridden and hospitalized and it was so much going on. It was just a pregnancy from hell. Now the delivery, child, that's a story time. To Girl, child, if I told y'all the story time about, I don't even want to put that out there. Because if I put out my story time about my delivery, y'all going to, somebody going to for sure know who I am. Okay. They going to know. Because that, it was just awful. It was awful. The only thing that was great was the fact that I only pushed four times. And the doctor was like, are you sure you don't have any other kids? I'm like, no, I ain't never had no baby. But this lady gave me a tip. She said, when you get ready to push, push and it's push like you're squatting down and that'll help the baby come through. And that was playing in the back of my mind over and over. So I just did that three times. And then he said, okay, one more time. And then my baby came. So, yeah. Carob said, I know this world is so jacked up right now. It's hard enough to navigate, let alone bring another person in. And baby, don't go on TikTok at night. They're going to ruin your nerves. I, child, it's so much gloom and doom and this and that. And I'm just like, I need to check out of this. I can't continue to watch this. Brenda said, I just bought Mancera Roses Vanille by Mancera Ada Perfume. It smells divine. Does it? Where you get it from? I might have to give my mama some of that for Mother's Day. Stacy 22 said, is it too late at Chauncey? I had mine two years ago at 37. Wait a minute. Well, what are we talking about? Hold on. Oh, hold on. I, I read that. Chauncey said, I'm turning 40 in July and believing for my sweet baby. Yes, we're going to speak it into existence that we're going to be having a virtual baby shower. We're going to go on speak it, girl. It's already happening. Stacy said, come in the show, love, and give a like. Thank you, Stacy. I can't stay since I haven't watched this season yet. Girl, you ain't missing nothing. My children are 17 years apart. That baby at 35 kicked my butt too. 17 years. And you know what? My grandma tried to speak some over me. Now, granted, I wanted another baby. Okay, now I know this might sound crazy, but I was on my Khloe Kardashian. I'm like, maybe I'll just have another baby with that soon-to-be ex-husband. Because I just felt like, I mean, I already know him and I know he ain't work for them. So might as well. OK, my children look just like and everybody be it's, it'll be fine. But God did not want that for me. He was like, that is the stupidest plan that you have come up with in a long time. So it would be a no. And then I was at my grandmother's house on Easter and she said, yeah, you might have another baby. I said, ma'am, now how am I going to have another baby? <laughs> like just how she was like, you just never know. I said, let me tell you something. I told her straight up. I said, listen, grandma, if this boy in here turned 10. And I don't have any other children. I'm not having, I'm not starting over with no baby. And he's 10. He's going to be self-sufficient, able to do his own thing. And we halfway there. I'm not starting over if he make it to 10. Now I tried to have another baby when he was two. It didn't work. Okay. Cause G.O.D. was like, girl, that's giving dumb. Okay. It's really giving dumb. So don't do it. But mm -mm. see Shana's look, see, that's good. My kids are nine years apart. That's fine. You didn't hit that 10 year mark. I feel like when he, cause this is the thing when he's 10, he's in the fifth grade about to graduate and go to middle school. And so then, you know, me starting all the way over. I don't know. It just don't make sense to me. Now me and my sister are 10 years apart, but my mama also had her kids young. So she had my sister when she was 30. That's cool. But me, I am 41. And if it kicked my butt like that back then, I can only imagine this time. But my grandmother was like, well, it might be a good one this time. You might have a nice pregnancy. Girl. Hey, Holly, we speak everything into existence. Failure or success, life or not life, watch your mouth. I know that's right. Maybe don't do that over him. Star C said, Misha, make sure your date isn't a cancer. Oh, my gosh. Star C, why would you say that he's a cancer? I literally told them this on Patreon. Y'all vouch for me. I said, I've never dated the cancer. I don't know what they're about. I've never dealt with the cancer. What is wrong with the cancer? Child, this is a fool. Jennifer said, I'll be 45 September 29th and I speak more money, house and a baby. By who? I don't know. 
We'll find out in the next episode of Dragon Ball Z. (laughs) Girl, no, not Dragon Ball Z. We're going to speak it anyway, okay? I did say that sunshine and flower. Girl, why my stomach hurt? I'm about to get off. I'm about to get off. Okay, okay, Shayna's a cancer. It's fine, okay? And go check out our channel if you have not. She's very nice. So maybe he'll be very nice as well. I'm a cancer, but I heard the cancer men are I'm the Shayna. Goodbye. Not the cancer men are awful. Okay, Paragon said, cancers are lovely. I'm a Taurus. My baby's a Taurus. Take it from a fellow earth sign. Paragon, that's why we like this. Omar said, that's what I've always said. I wanted to adopt a 17-year-old teenager, pregnant girl, kill two birds with one stone. Omar, goodbye. (laughs) Omar, what? Let me read this again. I wanted to adopt a 17-year-old teenager, teenage pregnant girl, so I can kill two birds with one. Omar, goodbye. Goodbye and good night. So you want to be a father and a grandfather. This is your granddaddy. As soon as you get them. Got it. Jiminy said, I have one daughter, 29, and one grandson, and I'm an only child, and threw the whole uterus away, and I'm super happy. Listen, that's what I be thinking, too, because my son is an only child, and it's like, do I really just want him to be out here by by himself in life? You know, I don't know, y'all. Cancer men, run. My sons are Cancers and Scorpio, and I'm a Baby, them Scorpios will bring you down to your knees. I never, if you breathe in my general direction and say you a Scorpio, a Scorpio man, not all of them, but some. And that, let me tell y'all, that soon to be ex-husband brought me down to my knees. Bro- he basically destroyed everything that I thought I knew about myself. So much so that it took years of therapy for me to even be able to think I was worthy of anything. I have never experienced a person like him in my life. When I tell you that man hated me, and I do mean hated. Now, one of my best relationships was with the Capricorn. So I think they cool. I do. But I've ne- like I said, I've never dated a Cancer. So I don't know. November Scorpios. Yes. And he is a November Scorpio. Sean, are you a Scorpio? You are a Scorpio. What month? KC said, if you have a second kid and they don't get along, he'll be alone anyway. That's true, but my baby's so sweet. And I feel like we'll be one happy family. You know, every now and again, child, you be fighting because you siblings, but they're going to be all right. Paragon said, you can't just go by sun sign. It tells us very little. My moon is in cancer. And while I'm a bit sensitive, I know how to treat people right. Okay. That's how I feel about Pisces. Girl, that soulmate was a Pisces. Well, not was, honey, because he's still with us. But... He is a Pisces. And when I tell you, mm, 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 child, it took me to break every chain. Okay. It really did. Oh, you went out to, okay. Baby, them November ones, I have you fighting for your life. I have never experienced such a thing, y'all, ever. I mean, I was in the fetal position. Like they they really had to, to help me get myself. The only thing that was my saving grace was first, G-O-D. <coughs> And my son. It just, other than that, I wouldn't have made it. Like, it was given very much Marvin Sapp. Jennifer said, one of my exes was a cancer. He wasn't that bad. We were in our 20s. He wasn't ready, but he was, uh, you know, he will be a good man, Savannah, for somebody. Okay. I need star sign, star seed to tell me what's wrong with him. I don't know anyone who had a second baby regret it, but have heard regrets the other way around. Okay. I'm just thinking about the age gap, y'all. Chauncey said, I've dated a cancer. He was a good guy. He was just never content with where he was. And that got on my nerves. I mean, I guess you can call it being very ambitious. Okay. Jennifer said, one of my exes was a cancer. I read that. Hold on. Omar said, he will be just fine. I'm the only child at 41 years old. Are you? Omar, not you 41 and I'm 41 and you in the comments talking about, I'm younger than you. <laughs> You're going to go up in the comments on my um on my Martha's Vineyard Summer House talking about you younger than me. You know we, uh, we the same, honey. Virgos, 41 years old. Talking about some you younger than me. What, by three hours? 
Sister girl on film said Virgo and Pisces are opposite signs. So it's either going to be amazing or a disaster. Baby, it was amazing. Okay. When I say amazing, I mean amazing. But parts of it was disastrous. So you're about right. Okay. Cancers are toxic. Don't tell them your secrets. Vengeful. Girl, really? I won't go tell them nothing no way, child. Except I don't want no, I don't want to live with a man and I don't want to be married. I'm not ready to love. So he can go ahead and go on to eliminate. <laughs> We can go on to eliminate and he can tell me I'm not ready to love. And then I'm going to go off like they be doing on the show. What he mean? I'm not ready to love. He the one that's not ready to love. I am very successful. Okay. I got almost 39,000 subscribers on YouTube. Talking about I ain't ready to love. Get this damn camera out of my face. <laughs> Get this damn camera out of my face. Oh, child. Mm -mm -mm. Lenise said, we are not toxic and we can keep a secret. Okay, Lenise said cancers are not toxic and they can keep a secret, child. T. Flan said, I'm a November Scorpio and I've dated the no November Scorpio man and he was a gentleman. Apparently, this is rare. Oh, baby, it is super rare. Now, I'm surrounded by Scorpios. My mom, my sister, he is like, it's Scorpios everywhere. And they're all in November. And yeah, and my mom and sister are nothing like him. I think it also has to do with your upbringing as well. Because that was giving the upbringing from hell. Omar play all day. Talking about he younger than me. Talking about as somebody who's younger than you, sir, we are Nick and Nick. Okay. Your birthday, five minutes before mine. Dijon said, Misha, what was that other show on On with Dr. Ponytail? Put a ring on it. I'm like, when is that coming back? Not only put a ring on it, but family or fiance. We have not seen hide nor hair of either one. I think family or fiance got canceled. I really do. Now put a ring on it. I don't think they were happy with the doctor. I'm not sure, but it has never gone away for this long because usually ready to love and put a ring on it comes at the same time. And I'm always overwhelmed because it's like, oh my goodness, Fridays are too hectic. So yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Felicia said, yes, Omar, my son is an only child and he's social. He has to be. Poe, baby, I always want to play sparking up convos with kids. See, and my son is very, he's very reserved. He's always like, I don't know what to say, mommy. What should I say? I'm like, just talk about stuff you like. Like, just talk to him about video games or just any old thing. He has a hard time with that. Like, he can be social, but he has a hard time starting a conversation. So, you know, hopefully. Dr. Tracy from Family or Fiance has a sitcom. A sitcom on Philo. Does she? What's the name of it, Sean? I want to watch it. Just dumped a Taurus I was dating for three years and he was lying the whole time. Eight years older than he told me. Seen his ID and he couldn't look me in the eye, dirty dog. Is that the one we had advised you about? Remember, you had came and asked us a question. That's the, that's the one you're talking about. Misha, just have fun, look good, and judge the whole night away. Okay, enjoy being a lady. Okay, that's all it is, Starstruck. Okay, I'm going to get up off of here in nine minutes. I said I was going to get off of here 20 minutes ago. Y'all know I can talk. Hey, Janelle said, my cousin is 41 and has a 17-year-old and an 18-month-old. But she is the best baby ever, and we are all so happy to have her. Oh, see? And then it's like, the more that my son is getting older, his little attitude is starting to change. Like, I'm just like, okay. What is happening here? Like, we have not even really gotten into the double digits yet. What is going on? Oh, that's so sweet. An 18-month-old, 17, and started all the way over. Oh, baby, better than me. Unprisoned. Okay. Okay, it's on Hulu. Are Virgo men okay? My sis? Oh, yeah. Well, in my experience, he treated me so good. He treated me great. The only problem was he was not ready for what I was ready for. I was ready to get married and child start hosting dinners and whatnot. And he was just like, hold him up, swallow him up. No, I'm not ready for that. We had a very respectful breakup. We are still friends to this day. He actually just got married. Okay. And we're 41. Just got married. Okay. But yeah, he treated me very well. He was so sweet, so respectful, very sensitive. Virgo men are so sensitive, child. I, I didn't think dating my sign would be how it was, but he was nothing like me. Because like the Virgo women, I feel like we worry a lot. 
he was more so like, you know, whatever you say is okay. Like, you think it's going to be fine? I think it's going to be fine too. If you're worried, then, oh, I'm worried that you're worried. But he was so chill. It was almost like he was sedated. I'm like, sir, what is wrong with you? I'm like, why are you always just so chill? And everything's falling apart. <laughs> I be falling the hell apart, y'all. I be losing it. And he was just so even kill all the time. Very much a man. And you know what? He checked me one time. Let me tell y'all what happened. Baby, this is a story time. It's not really a story time. So we were going to get gas. And it was kind of like in a seedy part of town. Well, he had fell asleep. So I didn't want to wake him. He was asleep in the car. So I go in and I get the gas. So I come out and I'm going to get ready to pump the gas. Well, baby, what I do that for? That boy jumped out because I guess he had finally realized that the car had stopped. He jumped out of that car. He said, what are you doing? I said, I'm about to pump the gas. He said, why would you do that? It's a man in the car. Do you understand how you making me look? I said, well, you were asleep and I didn't want to wake you. He said, I don't care if I'm in a coma. If you stop me for gas, you need to tell me you stopping for gas. Wake me up so I can go and pay for it. Because what if something happened to you inside of the gas station? I don't even know you're in there because you let me sleep. You let, why you let, I'm not a baby. I'm here to protect you. So you need to wake me up. Let me go pay for the gas and let me pump the gas. I'm a man. Let me be a man. I said, oh, okay. Because, baby, I had never seen that before, honey. They let me pump the gas, make the gas. <laughs> honey, pass gas. They didn't give a damn. But, baby, he was like, don't do that no more. He was legit pissed. Me, I was just thinking, okay, I won't do it no more, daddy. You know, I was just kidding. <laughs> Child, baby, he wasn't playing with me. That's why I wanted to marry him, y'all. I just couldn't believe when he slipped through my fingertips. And I said, baby, you're taking too long. Because that's one thing about me. I'm impatient. I always making a mistake with that damn impatience in me. But I was like, you're taking too long, child. We done been together for years. And we done been together for a minute. Now it feels funny to be doing something different. I mean, it's just taking too long. And finally, we just had a conversation. And he was just like, I think we're on two different pages. As a matter of fact, I don't even think I'm in your book, okay? Like, I love you and whatnot, but I don't want to hear every day that I want to get married. I don't want to feel like you're forcing me to do it. I'm just not there. So he went left and I went right. And, you know, we saw each other a few times, but it didn't work. Mm -mm. When and wrong. When I tell you, baby, why we pulled over to one of them little seedy motels, you know, the one you pay for about an hour. Uh, give me a $20 worth, okay? Come on, boy, let's get him up. <laughs> I kid you not. I kid you not, honey. And why the whole time I'm thinking, they're going to raid this place, honey. As soon as we get in here, they're going to raid us. Baby, sounds of love making. Because when he told me, let me be a man, I said, yes, ma'am. Mm-hmm, absolutely. Holly said, I'm an only child and I wouldn't change a thing. I was and am extremely social, but also good with my alone time. Yeah, I just got to work on that because he's not social at all. He just want to be, you know, in the house sitting down. I'm like, no, you got to go make friends. Like, go, go out there, go forth and prosper. Like, don't be sitting up in there. Ooh, child. Mm -mm -mm. D Flo said, not at the door, drop me and Misha. Let, let me tell you something. I went right on down there and I was like, okay, here's, and you know, they be calling you on that phone. <laughs> Your time, your time. I'm like, wait a minute. Child, we just got into it good. Call me back in five minutes. <laughs> How much is an extra five minutes? Ooh, child. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, the palace in. Listen, you know. What you know about the palace in, Omar? What you know about that? Because it sure was, okay? Hey, Stormy. Hey, Misha finally caught a live. Stormy, we about to end the live in three minutes. We done ventured off and started talking about all kinds of stuff. Brenda said, love will come when you least expect it. That's so true. Because I sure was expecting to go up in Whole Foods and get my Whole Foods and come on up out of there. Child, cornering me in the aisle and whatnot. And then he kept showing up on every aisle. I'm like, okay, it's getting suspicious. Honey, I had my hand on my mace just in case. I said, I don't know him. I don't know why he keep on coming over this way. Can we get a live about dating advice? Because I need help. Oh, we sure can. We can do that. Mm-hmm. You from Houston too, Miss April? I think you told me you was from Houston before. Uh, baby, he would have got the big piece of chicken that day. Okay. 
Baby, I would have made all that food she made on soul food. I mean, on um, on uh, waiting to excel. You know, just some light. <laughs> Baby, cooking greens, beans, potatoes, tomatoes. Baby, I would have been there cooking everything. But yeah, he showed it, baby. He got me all the way together. I said, oh, not a real man. My bad. Okay. I ain't used to all that. Not the palace in. Thank you, Lord, for protecting me. Chauncey, let me tell you something. When I went up in there, I just knew they was going to kick down the door and raid the place. I'm telling you, I was so nervous. But child, I was still getting into it. And I was like, hurry up, child. We only got an hour. Then, you know, it's getting to where it need to be. And then you get to falling asleep and that damn phone ring. I'm like, oh, child, we got to get out of here. Mm -mm -mm. We got to go. But see, five, my, my, you know, mouse tool, it was there as well. But in the Whole Foods, I was trying to be a little classy based. So I just had, you know, my mace. So <laughs> in case, nights in, mm -hmm. where you from when in Rome? They got a nights in in Houston too. Brittany said, pray for us in the Northeast. There was an earthquake. Oh, prayers to you. Where exactly? I didn't hear nothing about an earthquake. I'm about, to, I'm about to start going to Lowe's and Whole Foods every day. Baby, them Lowe's don't be nothing but the men that be trying to get work. I, I, you know, I've seen people talk about the Lowe's and the Home Depot, but I don't feel like they're really in there. And if they're in there, they went to run an errand because their wife told them that she wants that door fixed. Fix that screen door, Clifford. That screen door been hanging off for about a month now. Go on down there and get the tools to fix that screen door. <laughs> I don't feel like the single men in Lowe's. I don't feel like they're in Home, Home Depot either. I feel like the cheaters are the ones that's trying to get a little hot and young looking thing and their wife at home. Child, I don't trust it. Okay. Yes, prayers for you. Oh, in Georgia. Okay. In Jersey and New York? Okay, baby. Now, y'all know I don't play about New York. Okay, y'all know I do not play about my New York. I am so sorry. I didn't know nothing about where I've been all day. What have I been doing? Oh, child, I washed my hair. Honey, I've been preparing, honey, trying to get myself together. I did not know that there was an earthquake in New York. Tylen said, are there any of y'all watching the eclipse? I'm like, Baby, I'm going to have my blinds closed, windows shut, sitting down on the floor, honey. I don't know what they about to do. The people on TikTok have my nerves all bad, child. I had to stop watching that stuff. I ain't going to be looking at it. Who going to be looking at it? Shonda said the earthquake was in New Jersey, but it was felt, oh, really? I thought it was okay. They, some people are saying it's in New York. It was felt all the way in Boston. Well, they're in close proximity, but it happened in Jersey. I got a cousin that live in Jersey. I need to call him. Let me get my zhuzh on at the Whole Foods tomorrow, baby. Look cute, get casual. Because, baby, I felt like I was looking a fool. But, I mean... He still talks to me though. My hair was in a messy bun. I had some sweats on. You know, I felt like I was looking put together, but not. Kind of like, I don't know, it was giving effortless, like, let me run to the stop. But it was not done up in the slightest, like at all. You felt it, Danny? Wow, that's crazy. Miss J. Cole said, I think it was an earthquake from Taiwan and it affected the East Coast. I'm going to look that up when I get off here. I'm not watching that stuff on TikTok. Not going to have me paranoid. I know that's right, girl. They will have your nervous system bad. But sometimes they tell you some things you need to have a heads up about. Because some things, you know, you might not know. And then you look on there and you're like, wait a minute, this is going on. And speaking of, I haven't even been on there all day. I've been trying to get myself together. That earthquake shook me right out of my nap. Thank God everybody is okay. Yes, thank God y'all okay. You are in New York, Sean, huh? And look, the fact that it happened in New York, that's scary because that's not a place earthquake normally happen, right? That's normally in California. Listen, it's crazy because certain places have earthquakes and then us over here, we have the, the water. You know, we always got a tornado or a category five hurricane it's scary and i remember my cousin saying to me i would rather have the water than the earthquake and i was thinking to myself i'd rather have the earthquake than this but i just don't know because i've never been through an earthquake and she was like girl no that is the scariest thing that you will ever experience so my prayers for anybody who's experienced that because i had no idea india says she on the east coast and she didn't feel anything 
Holly said, yep, 1022 a.m. to be exact. Jersey and New York are right there, and we all felt it. What? My son and I going to school. We going to make it or go out together. Mm-hmm. I know that's right, five. That's the same way I feel, honey. Nope. We're going to be right here at this house, child. I'm not watching no Eclipse. What? Eclipse for what? <laughs> no, uh-uh. Yes, my son was telling me about it this morning. It was like a 7.5 in Taiwan. Wow. India said, yeah, it's scary to live in a place where any of those natural disasters happen often. Girl, yes. And around the time where they start telling us on the news, okay, we're in hurricane, you know, we're in hurricane season. And then some people live in hurricane or tornado alley. And it's just a whole thing. And I always get so scared because it's just me by myself. But baby, I am well prepared. Okay. Now, the only thing that I worry about is if water would come inside. I've never experienced that, thank God. But that's the one thing I worry about. And it's just me and my son. So I do get nervous about that. Brandmaster T said they felt it in Delaware. Did you feel like, was it strong in Delaware, Brandmaster T? Vanessa said all of the houses shook and aftershock. Oh, wow. Misha, are you reviewing the Escape SWV show? Is it coming back? I just heard about a tour. I ain't hear nothing about the show. Because if it's coming, y'all know I'm reviewing it. Child, I hope they don't get over there and get to complaining. You like candy. You don't, child. Oh, I ain't in the mood to be hearing all that. Sister Girl on Film said, we had a baby earthquake in Indiana years ago. That's when I knew they could happen anywhere. Oh, no, ma'am, honey. Every time I hear about Indiana, I think about Michael Jackson. Brittany said, my students started quoting the Bible. Oh, my gosh. That's a blessing right there. Child, that's probably something I would do. Because what else can you do? Chelshire said, Latasha trying to stop the tour. I seen that. I was going to do a um thing over there on uh, Patreon about that. Now they're trying to stop. Baby, go on. on. You didn't want to be involved. You and your scammer husband and with his cheating ways. If you and Rockhead want to stay together and be in poverty, then do it. But these girls are going on the road, honey, to try to pro prolong their longevity ain't nobody got time for you to be playing with their money where is tamika's money <laughs> that's what we need to know where is the thirty thousand dollars latasha okay that's all we need to know the faux londoner said yeah the earthquake rocked us in new york today plus there was an aftershock floors just shaking jesus talked about this in the bible yes um you know what actually well you know what I would get into it, but uh, um, yeah, we, we're gonna have we're gonna have a live to talk about that because I have a lot of thoughts on this comment right here. Holly said, I was in a Zoom meeting and we all stopped yapping, looked around, the meeting was over. I know it was all of a sudden everything. Okay, what I envision is just stuff shaking, like and you know, just feeling a little shake, but my cousin was like, no, girl, it is super scary for the ground to be moving. And I'm just like, yeah, but I just feel like it's scarier with water. And she was like, no, I would take that. But see, the thing is, I feel like you can, I don't know, you could hide or something. You could get under the table or go into a, I don't know. I lived in Tokyo for years, child. The earthquakes happened on the regular. No joke. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. And I wanted to visit New York too. Oh no, ma'am, honey. I, I I said I was gonna go live there for a year. I was planning on probably living in New York or LA for the summer, like the entire summer. I just want to live there. I'm gonna get an apartment and I'm gonna live there for the entire summer. Like I'm telling y'all, baby, I'm gonna be outside with it. But now that I heard New York shaking and whatnot, I don't know. And California be shaking too. Omar says she's the CEO of Cash App. Now that's where the money is. Who? When in Rome said, they said them CDs still sitting in storage. What CDs? What y'all talking about? Okay, because she she got to be. If she's stealing Shonda, you can you and Rockhead, y'all over there stealing, honey. I ain't got a pot to piss in or a window to throw it out of. A fool. Brenda said, I dated the cancer and he was very sweet. Okay, okay, I like that, Brenda. Give me some hope, child, because they scam me to death. Brand demand said, I'm a UPS driver and didn't feel anything because I was moving around, but I saw people's reactions to the earthquake. 
It didn't shake the truck. See, uh, see, that's what I'm saying. And see, some people say they felt it. And some people are saying on here that they didn't feel it. Oh, Latasha CDs. Mm-hmm. Jennifer said, I always wondered about people who are in the middle of hunching during the earthquake. Do they continue? Might as well. <laughs> Might as well. That is literally earth shattering, child. Get into it if we gonna get into it. Mm-mm-mm. Miss G said, California native. Miss G, thank you for being a, um, a member. I have lived through quakes. I think I prefer them to storms. After the flash flood of January in San Diego, where I live, um, the earthquake for 100, Alex. See, that's what I was thinking, too. I don't think we should have natural disasters at all. I want everybody to be safe. The earthquake people, the, the hurricane people, the tornado people. I just want us all to be OK. It just really gets on my nerves, honey, every year. And then the crazy part about it is our hurricane season is sneaking up through summer. Like, leave us alone. Like, leave us alone. I remember a few years ago, I'll say, um, I think my son was about three. We went to Disney World because we went to Florida for the 4th of July. Tell me why Houston was flooded. We called back to see what's going on down in Houston. Houston is completely underwater, just flooded. Just a storm came out of nowhere. And I'm just like, dang. Chatting with Beauty Spot said, I'm from California and I was in La Pompri Loma Prieta earthquake. The biggest one I felt in my lifetime, my manager and, oh my gosh. I am so sorry to hear that. Oh, baby, that's sad. I'm in Brooklyn and we felt it. Hey, best I. Every time I see your name, I think about everybody hates Chris. Because, you know, they were talking about they always was in bed style. I just love me. And I think about Lil' Kim as well. Put your lights up. I just love New York, anything associated with it. I love everything about y'all. Nobody can make me hate y'all. I don't care what they say. They be like, New York is dirty. New York can... I don't give a damn. I love New York. Like, I am literally one of those walking T-shirts. Um, Houston too close to Louisiana, always getting hit, always. But I don't think that we, well, I mean, I feel like we do, but I just say my prayers for Louisiana anytime I hear that they are getting severe weather. After Hurricane Katrina, baby, uh-uh, mm-mm. I'm so happy you're about to chase your happy. Go for it, Misha. Thank you. I'm November 7th, too. Oh, y'all talking about y'all birthdays in the um in the chat? Omar said, I love New York. Me too, Omar. Like, I do too. Why my daddy gonna tell me I remind him of Rochelle? I don't need this. My man has two jobs. <laughs> I do not act like Rochelle. Anyway, New York over LA for me. Exactly. Or LA over New York. Some people could say, oh, I like New York better than L.A. Or I like L.A. better than New York. OK, so I spent some time in L.A. Don't get me wrong. I like it. I don't know. It was just different. I feel like the hustle and bustle and the way I grind and the way I work and the way I move, I fit in more in New York. Because I can find something to do at any time of the day and I never sleep. And I need a city that never sleeps. If I get hungry in the middle of the night in Houston, Texas, Look, you either go to Jack in the Box or Waterburger. And sometimes you don't want that. Like, uh-uh. Looking at that still, why does Chaz look like an out of shape, down on his look, geriatric cat daddy? <laughs> <laughs> the hatred empress, goodbye. He sure do. Look at him. Look at how he looking. Who is this in the corner, y'all, sitting next to Rashina with the hat on? I said, sir, who snuck you in? I do not know this man, y'all. Sorry to this man. Who is this man right here, y'all? Let me let me circle his face. Who is this? I do not know. I'm, I swear to you, I don't know nothing about this season, I guess. Because who is this man? I know everybody. Okay, we got Vanessa, Chaz, April, William, Rashina, Alonzo and his clownery, Patrice, Laron, and Alexis. But who is this gentleman right here? I don't know who that is. Now, that's not Lamar. Mm -mm. Okay, because let's go to the next one. Okay, so we got Maya, Jonathan, Dom, Patricia, Will, Leyland, 
Mika, Justin, Koshia, and this is Lamar right here. So who is this man? I mean, I do not have any idea who he is. <gasps> I do know who he is. That That's the fashion designer that had on the Pepsi outfit. He looks so much different. He looks so much different. Okay, that's DeMonte. Yes, that's him. Hey, Tracy. Yes, that's him. Miss G said, California builds things to roll with the punches. Worked in an 18-story building that rolled during quakes. It felt strange, but felt the first quake I noticed in years because the building was rolling. Okay, so they build it that way. I want to get me like a storm shelter built. That guy's DeMonte. Yes, I finally realized it when I started thinking about who all was on the show. Okay, y'all, it's 1114. I need to get my beauty rest, honey. I don't want to have no bags and whatnot, y'all. I'm about to end the live. I had a good time talking to y'all. There are 788 of you on this live. Thank you for consecutively tuning in at about 850. Okay, we hit 850. I appreciate y'all. Please like the video on your way out. Also, I might do a live or something, y'all, and let y'all know how it went and let y'all know if I'm ready to love. This is what we're going to do. Okay, so next Friday, reunion part two, of course, it will be alive. I'm going to go ahead and set it for 930 next Friday as well. So it don't be no tomfoolery. We're going to do that live and then I'm going to end it. And then I'm going to start a new live and then get into it and talk. Because I feel like sometimes when I co-mingle my story times and everything with my lives, you know, people be that are new. They're like, girl, what is this chaos? Okay, so I think I'm going to have two separate lives and I'll tell you all about it. Okay, I will tell y'all all about it. But anywho, in the meantime, in between time, stay safe, stay blessed, spread love, not germs. Peace. Night, night, y'all.